Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out the new update 35.1 release describing the universe. Without further ado, let's get straight into this. So, describe your worlds. Add rich details to any object and the simulation itself with the new description properties. Include your favourite facts about each planet in the solar system or give detailed backstories to a custom Tatooine. Add them under object properties and description or simulation description. Okay. Interesting. That may be that may be a new tool for uh, custom system makers. Actually, that would be um, very interesting. Choose your startup simulation. Pick up on where you left off with your most recent save. So that was already in the last update, but now they're mentioning it in this update. That's interesting. Uh, visualizing the planet data. See planet data like the surface temperature projected on planet objects in 3D. This view is now shown in the object preview and on the objects in the simulation. Check it out under object properties, visuals, and surface. Okay, we'll check that out. More highlights. Use the new actions in the view panel to fly, land, and reset the camera position and more. Okay. Controls to show and hide an object's atmosphere, clouds, and dust clouds, and now simulation wide view settings. Ugh. That's very interesting. Simulation wide view settings. Hmm. Okay. And then learn more about exoplanet K2 18b and the recent evidence of molecules in the atmosphere that can be produced by life on Earth. You know what? Can we? Is that a simulation we can view, or is that? See, is that? They're just links. Okay, that's interesting. Full details. All right. Okay. Oh, there, I know those are most. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So here it is. Alrighty. So this is the system. So K two eighteen. And there it is. There. Eighteen B. There it is. It's looking a bit weird. But there we go. It's smoking up. It's losing material by the looks of things. Okay. But yeah, they're K218B. Exoplanet orbiting the Red Dwarf K2. Um, 18, 124 light years away from the Earth. The planet is a sub-Neptune about 2.6 times the radius of Earth with a 33-day orbit. Okie dokie. And then yeah, in 2025, the atmosphere was reported to contain a dimethyl sulfide. I believe I'm saying that right. A chemical that could serve as a biosignature on exoplanets in quantities 20 times higher than on Earth. As the molecule is short-lived, the concentration is highly suggestive that um, it's been replenished. Um, that's very interesting. Very, very interesting. So there we go. So that's the orbs in at the star there. It's going pretty quick. Let's lose some material over there. It is. After probably have to make a custom of this planet actually. It's got a lot of water going on it at the moment. All right. So one thing I want to go though is. Uh, Back to the main solar system simulation. I want to see these custom descriptions. So that is, if I go search, just go to a random place. I go to Uranus for a change. So I believe these all have descriptions now. Ah, oh, so there isn't one for Uranus. Okay, let's see. Are they are they on all of the planets or Jupiter? There isn't one for Jupiter, Saturn. What about Earth? It's not one for Earth either. Okay. I was thinking maybe the, the default simulation would have them. But yeah, you can now add individual descriptions to to the planets. That's that's quite good, actually. Okay. That would be interesting for definitely uh, yeah, definitely the systems you guys submit to me. I mean, that would be very interesting to uh, to see how that plays out. Okay. Okay, let's check out these um, other view settings. Let's go to Earth. So, Surface. Now, we had that other, that 3E thing. So, where where is that? I can't remember where the... Uh, option was on the thing already <laughs> so okay visual so you can still hide and view atmospheres here but now there's a master sort of tab for it so is that in the simulation view settings directional light flashlight on okay oh yes yeah, so there it is so atmospheres so you can turn all atmospheres off all clouds off on all objects and dust what's dust that's a new option dust is that just the particles coming out of planets, maybe? I'm not sure. Space goggles. Okay, so that's all there. All right, okay. Helper light. Studio. Can put that on. So that's how you get studio mode, if, uh, if anyone knowing, because I had a bit of an issue trying to find that myself. So that's there. The helper light option. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to quickly go ahead and see this 3D model thing it was talking about. Let's see if I can figure it out, because I need to reread what it said. 
Okay, everyone, so I'm back at K218B here. I thought I'd make a little custom variant of it um, for a nice little uh, image here. But yes, the surface view mode here, the new 3D thing, is under yeah, visuals. I was looking under surface, which is where you get these. But visuals, you get a 3D version of what you'd normally see on the visuals tab here, which is, which is quite cool. So as we can see here, if I go through the uh, different uh, lineup, so you've got uh, surface temperature, sea level temperature, elevation. So if we just zoom out from here, here, there it is. It's got elevation, displacement, gas pressure, liquid depth, and ice thickness. So if I just go back to the surface as well, the temperature one's pretty cool. Uh, and then there's all these color modes for it. So we've got uh, cold, deep, elevation, fire. That's pretty cool. Uh, how to ball, life, pressure, thermal. Rainbow, uh, they look the same. Uh, Viridis here, plasma, Civis here, uh, grey, red, orange, yellow, green, cyan. Uh, we got uh, azure, blue, purple, and magenta. So there you go, looking pretty good, very nice. I got the uh, magenta one there. There's a uh, Looking, yeah, looking pretty good, uh, zoomed in all there. All right, okay, so there's that. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the solar system now. I can uh, see that on some of the different planets. I want to see it on like the gas giants, maybe. Let's go to say, Jupiter. And how does it look on a? Uh, how does it look on Jupiter? It's very far distance away. Um, okay, surface. Oh, so it does work. Okay, elevation, liquid depth, ice. I mean, also the gas giants are different. Sea level, surface temperature. Okay, and out of the different modes look on Jupiter. Okay. I mean, it's a gas giant, so... Yeah, the details on it aren't really as good as uh, what they would be on the Rockies, if we go to, say, Mars. Shine Mars. Yeah, you get way more detail, don't you? That's pretty good. Okay. Nice. Looking very good. All right, okay. Cool. Uh, there was also the new... Um, what's it? The buttons that was it on view here? Um, you can now do these. So surface lock. Oh, we can land on Mars. Very nice. Overview. Reset camera. Fly to Mars. Oh, that's for the sun now. Let's go to Uranus. Fly to Uranus. Okay. Looking good. Nice. So we've got those options in there as well. That's pretty good. One last thing as well, everybody. So if you want to save any of your custom save solar systems as the system the game starts up in, you can pick it in this option here, just on the regular settings menu. So literally just settings, experience, and then startup simulation. So like I've got, I've got my custom solar system here as the startup sim with the custom textures and visuals for the planets. So if we just line them all up here, you can see, I mean, you guys know this system and I've been uh, updating it for years. Uh, so you've got the custom Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. It's got my good old Planet 9, which I brought back since this update changed the way the modded stuff works. So I brought my original Planet 9 back. Um, it looks slightly different just because of the gas giant bands are different um, in it. But yeah, I've got that Earth, Venus, Mars. I mean, all those are custom um, with different effects. Uh, Mercury has a slight atmosphere, Pluto has an atmosphere, You've got the Sedna with the actual Sedna texture on it, which is pretty cool, and a few other little ones in here, and then this system has a few added extras as well, um, like I've got a Far Out in here, obviously the Goblin uh, TG387, that's in there, um, Far Out, Far Far Out, they're both there, um, and then obviously the custom trail colours and stuff, so it's quite nice to have that as my boot up simulation, um, which is yeah, which is pretty awesome, so speed up a bit, yeah. but yeah, as we are... Uh, that is mainly everything in this update, everyone. So if you guys enjoyed it, let me know what you think down below in the comments as well of this update. It's obviously a minor one, but it's got some nice little tweaks in it. It's done some bug fixes as well, which are always useful. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, press that like button, subscribe for more, help us on the journey to 50,000 subscribers. And with that all said, everybody, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out right there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.